What's up, Dante Rain? Hey, yo, what's up? What's up, bro? man? Uh, how's life treating you? It's good, man. It's chilling. Episode 28 of the Eggcast. Um, this was meant to be a few weeks ago, basically almost a month ago, I recorded one with you and Sean mm. that we completely lost cause, just because of like technical issues, audio issues, which sucks. But I mean, we're back, which is cool. Been kind of taking a little bit of a hiatus between just like school and life. It's been kind of hard to like maintain the podcast, right. but... I mean, you know, life's been chilling, so I have no problem with it. I mean, especially, this really still is, anything under episode 100 is kind of still like the baby stages of this. Okay. So it's a matter of just like, I understand it's not always going to be super consistent in the beginning, but like, I'm just trying to make sure I keep doing them. And you know, it's nice to be able to see people mm. and like, keeps me in touch with people, which I really like. But um, what you been up to, man? Just like, what's been, how's life been treating you? All right, so I'm trying to get like my, uh, my social life back in order. I got you. Like last year, I wasn't really that that social and shit. I was just chilling with you and Sean all the time. Yeah, yeah. Instead of like making more college friends and shit. Yeah, I understand. I got, that. I got better though. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to a lot more people and whatnot. That's cool, man. Yeah. I think it's because of my classes, but other than that, yeah. Yeah, man. It's important. Like, it can be hard, like when you don't live on campus, to like get involved or like to get, you know, like it can be hard to get, you know, with the whole fucking program. But like, um, like. I just find that like that's why you when you commute to school you really have to like involve yourself you have to make an effort to really like, stay involved you yeah. know what i'm saying and that's why like i mean personally i don't like the breaks all the time like i don't like to have a big break in between school i mean i kind of keep my circle close anyway but like at the same time though it is good to like branch out and socialize with people you know what i mean because like that's you. how you meet people like it's yeah. you know it's how you bring good people in your life and like yeah, like, it's definitely harder when you commute to school. You have to really make it a priority. Because when you live there, I feel like you're just going to meet people either way. Yeah. Or you're going to go crazy and live by yourself. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man, that's that's cool. Like, what have you been doing? Just, like, talking to more people in your classes? Yeah, basically. Uh, essentially, yeah. I There's one girl I'm friends with. Nice. Who, uh, publicly speaking, I'm cool with her. Cool. Uh I'm cool with like, some other people in my, my history class, which is fucking bonkers. Really? Like, that class is, is nutty as shit. Who do you have? Uh, What's the guy's name? Um, uh, is Hugh, it a guy or Hugh a... Hugh Dono, Donahue. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. I, I've not heard of him, but I just yeah. thought maybe it was one of the people that I had. No, nah, it, it's, uh, it's a U.S. history to like uh, 1865. Yeah. I, th- I might still have my old notes for that. If I do, I'll give them to you. Uh, shit was you fucking might, cr- bananas. You might, not, <laughs> you might not want to give it to me, but we have yet to learn shit. Really? I, I swear to God. We, we we literally spent like three weeks on definitions of like this, this, the, these words he gave us like the, the first day of class. So I was like, all right, what, 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 what the fuck? Yeah, now, now yeah. Now we're on the, uh, the Mayweather Compact and uh, we was going through going through that document. And then at one point, um, this girl who I was sitting next to, who, who was a pretty cool chick. She let me charge my phone with a charger. Yeah. Uh, she, I guess, got a call from one uh, from, from jail. I guess somebody was trying to call her. And so <laughs> somebody in jail was trying to call her when she yeah. was in class? Yeah. That's so hilarious. Like, we, I, so me and these other two girls were hearing, like, um, I guess the automated message. Yeah. Like, Do you want to take this call? And I'm like, fuck. So the teacher, the professor, uh, 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 noticed. It was like, something wrong. The emergency, she was like, someone from jail was trying to call me. And she and she told us, like, uh, this guy who she know, I guess now we all find out, well, I just found out that was her cousin. Yeah. To somebody told me. Uh, so somebody he called her. I was trying to call her because he got he got caught with um, armed robbery. Oh fuck. F- facts. So, so, uh, he tried he robbed the store and then I guess he got caught and he tried he's trying to leave the country and he got a fake passport. So he robbed the liquor store, get a fake passport to leave the country. So I was like, all right, well, I mean, now he's that in jail. sounds like that doesn't sound like a very good risk risk to reward yeah, ratio. So like, 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 like you're really gonna rob a liquor store to like to flee the country? Wouldn't you rob like fucking something like a little? A That's what I was saying. Like a little bit bigger. It was like, like a fucking bank or something. Like, like yeah, at least, at least go out big or something. Like, yeah, rob weird. a bank and then try to exchange. But then even then, if you rob a bank, it can't be one. I feel like that's so hard to do, like, and, like, get away with it, because, like, how are you going to clean your money? You know what I'm saying? That's true. Like, you, no way you're clean, cleaning that money. Like, people are, are going to ask questions, or especially if you're going to flee the country and, like, exchange your money. I feel like that's just going to bring up even more questions. Like, like, it, 
It's but really, the man robbed a liquor store. What did he get? Like four hundred dollars out of the register? Saying, like, like, what, what, like <laughs> some bullshit. Like this is this is like in Jersey too. It's like either you so the best you can do is leave Canada, which is like I'm pretty sure it's, pretty sure it's still gonna be hard to do. Yeah, I guess in, in, in relative to Mexico, which is like damn near impossible. Mm-hmm. But like, yeah, I guess we all and like uh, these two girls was like, yo, can you like? I think because like for this project, for like a project to the teacher, like can we do a project or like doing like a docu documentary on like just girls, <laughs> just go jail with friend. I was like, what yeah, the yeah, <laughs> that's fucking crazy, that's man. Fu- it's nutty as shit. So I gotta apologize to her because I was making fun of her. Really? I was, I was making fun of like the whole situation. But that's just funny. Like yeah, that was her like, cousin. I thought it was gonna be her boyfriend. That's why. That's what we thought too. And yeah. Then, and then like this guy, this, the, the homie I was talking to in that class, he was like, "Yeah, she said that was her cousin." And I was like, "I thought it was a friend or something." Now I feel bad. Like yeah, yeah. I Still though, that man's dumb as hell. You're gonna rob a lit a fucking liquor a store. Liquor store. <laughs> <laughs> if you that? rob a liquor store, you shouldn't even have a gun. Like. Like, that's the thing, man. Robbery, I don't know. Like, robber, stealing's fucked up. It's bad karma. Chances are you're going to get caught, right? But, like, if you're going to rob a place, don't... You're better off... If you're going to rob a small-scale place, you're better off not doing it with a gun. Because, yeah. like, if, if you rob some place without a gun, it's like... If, it, if you don't rob somebody, like, armed, you, you know, you can stay out of at least a little bit more trouble. You know what I'm saying? And, like, for what... Like, what do you... I don't think the... I don't think the other guy has a gun either. I mean, they might try to fight you off, but that's true. I don't know. You can't. I, I never under like you can't rob a place during operating hours. You know what I'm saying? If you were gonna that's like true. case a joint, you gotta do it like in the middle yeah, of the night or it's like. And shit. But it's a liquor yeah. store, so it's probably open like 24 hours. Oh, true, true. No, you're not wrong. Or you just gotta hang out and wait for somebody to fucking leave the register and then just like do it uh, real I fast. Feel, and I feel dip. like if you, you gotta do it when it's like. In the dead hours, so like, we, yeah. we, like nobody, you feel like nobody's gonna come, so it has to be like three a.m., three a.m., some shit like that. Facts, facts. So like, some dead, dead in the night, you probably chilling, okay, like, like it's, it's like it's like um uh super bad, like yeah, basically like nobody's coming in, it's like it's not busy or whatever. You come yeah. in, you probably snuff some kid. <laughs> <laughs> that, that should be crazy. Imagine if you were in a store and the shit just got like started getting robbed. Bro, I, I've never, I've never experienced that. I don't want to experience that. Yeah, me oh neither, my. dude. Oh god. I, I almost got. I, I witnessed like a car chase when I was like younger. Really? Yeah. So I was, I was coming, I was coming from um, the Boys and Girls Club when it was like a day, a day camp during the summer. Yeah. So I was walking to my grandmother's house, which is like down the street. Yeah. So as I'm crossing the street, I almost got hit by this fucking car, like speeding fast as shit. Then I'm trying to walk back again, and I see like two more fucking cop cars coming. Cop at cars. It. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I, as I walked it back, and I guess like, uh, I was talking to my. Is this mind. in the city or is this in like suburbs? City, city, city. city. So, so these are like city streets. They're speeding through and yeah. shit. Hey, how the fuck are you gonna get away from the cops in the city? Like that seems a little ridiculous to me. Grand Theft Auto, baby. Yeah, hey, Grand Theft Auto. What happened or was, something. what happened was, in the um, when I, when I talked to my my mom about it, she told me like they, <laughs> they um. It hit. It, it was near. It was in the back area of um where the houses would be. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, he crashed, and then yeah, that's Damn. what happened. That's, what, that's crazy. <laughs> that shit is crazy. You see people crashing their cars. You ever see that video of um the guy like what? It's like a vine. The guy's watching the police chase on on TV, yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. it goes by his fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh shit. Damn. Yeah, I have yet to witness a police chase. I've seen people getting pulled over, but that's, that's not the right. same shit. Yeah. Like, damn, that is really wild, man. So, like, besides that, uh, what, what you really, what else you been up to? You been in the gym at all or not really? Nah, but I'm mean, losing weight. I got yeah, better. I just say you, you, I got better to eat. You, I just say, like, you look like you're pretty, like, slimming out. Like, like you look, like, I mean, obviously, like, when you got, like, a, a sweater on or something, you can't tell everything. But if I just looked at you right now, I would say you look like you're a dude who's in decent shape. Like, your legs look like they're in good shape. You know what I'm saying? Like you look like you got some I got size some to you. Looking legs. It's crazy yeah. I got some good ass looking legs. Yeah, you nah, got you got too much you got some size to you. Like you know what I'm saying? You're you're in, you're in a good spot. A lot yeah. of a lot of people are in a much worse. And also like it's just a matter of, like one of the most important things. I don't care how fat you are, how whatever you are, like whatever size and shape you are, whatever. If you don't take care of yourself, you're not gonna respect yourself. You know what I mean? And like people. People aren't going to, like, like when you get up in the morning, if you're going to the gym or something, yeah, like, wait till after, don't take a shower, but, like, when you get up in the morning, if you know that you're a sweaty sleeper, or if you know that you have messy hair, or you just don't feel, like, right, take a shower. Like, I always, like, 
I don't know. I understand sometimes like people want to shower at night. So they're like, oh, why should I shower in the morning? And like, I like to shower at night too because I don't like going to bed dirty. Mm. And like, for example, like my girlfriend showers at night and like she gets up, but she'll, she'll get up. She's got long hair and it's like, she's fine. Like she doesn't really sweat when she sleeps. Like she's fine. She doesn't really need to shower in the morning. Like sometimes she will, but like just like an example compared to like I get up in the morning and I've been fucking sweating and tossing and turning all night. I know I need a shower. So like, you know, just like, and it's, it's so easy to take care of yourself. You don't need fucking fancy shit. You need Irish spring, and like de- de- some type of deodorant. Yeah. It's all you need. And just like get up, like just wash yourself down, be thorough. You know what I'm saying? Don't be fucking gross. Like just be, th- be thorough, uh, you know, like face wash, like, and you don't even need to shampoo your hair every day. Cause like, that's no, like, I don't. yeah, that's like a common misconception. Cause guys, I'll think like, oh, that shit's for girls, like whatever. But no, like if you you shampoo every couple, few like two or three days, and just like keep a decent amount of oil in your hair, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And just give yourself a good rinse in the shower, and then like get up, you know, like I'll I'll always. I mean, I'm very particular about my routine. Like anybody who knows will tell you. Like, I I do I get out of the shower, and I always do everything basically in the same orientation. Like I'll put my contacts in, brush my teeth. I might mouthwash. I don't always, but I'll definitely brush my teeth pretty well um put on lotion i'll either put on just like face lotion or if i'm trying to like smell a little nicer you know i'm trying to you know got a date night whatever mm. i'll put on like some like scented body lotion too just like right around my neck like nothing crazy and then like just deodorant and then the most important thing the most important part of my thing because like i have this issue sometimes is making sure i maintain the beard because like, oh, yeah. because if not, it'll just be like scraggly and like out of place and shit. I use this this shit. It's called um, I think the company went out of business because I tried getting it on Amazon and um, Walmart and they were out of stock. But I found some on eBay. It's called um, it's this company out of Delaware. It's like something something. I forget what exactly what it's called. I think it's Smooth Groom. Shout out to Smooth Groom. Not like a obviously not a sponsor or anything. I don't get enough enough buzz for that. But like. Um, it's called Smooth Room Beard Mist, and you spray it in your beard, and then I'll brush it, mm. and like it kind of helps just keep everything in place where you want it to stay and shit. And then I'll just take a little scissors, like and I'll, I'll do the neckline too every now and again with like a razor thing, mm. and like but this for me grows in pretty well naturally. I feel like if I tried to, sh- to shape it, I would just fuck it up mm. and just make it look goofy. So like this line for me, I'll trim a little bit, but basically it's just natural, and then um. I'll take the, uh, I'll take the, um, little scissors and I'll just go around and like trim up. And I feel like that's one of the most important things. Cause like, I mean, it's like, you know how it's, I think it's dope having a beard. Like oh, yeah. I, I like having a beard from what yeah, I've heard. Like, like the aesthetics is crazy. Yeah. If you have a beard, just shout, shout out, like tip for the fellas out there. Like if you have a beard and like your lady likes it or she sees like like you'll know because like you'll have a beard and then people will tell you like don't shave your beard because if you have a beard and you shave it you like a fucking baby you yeah that's when people like I hate that shit so pe- much. people start giving you fucking like yeah it's, i'm i don't think i'm ever gonna not have a beard for the rest of my life honestly uh, you look good with a beard I ain't gonna hold yeah you. i'm like i'm gonna keep that shit same bro your beard looks shaped up i was about to say because you got the whole shape up going do they do they do that at your barber do they like come down your beard too yeah and like they do my see, beard too it costs extra though but that's cool see i'm like i feel like i keep mine together pretty well and like when i went to when i went to my last barber like i love the barber that i go to shout out to webb's barbershop jay that guy's awesome but there's another guy there that i would go in and i would put any and i would always get him and he's like not super thorough and like i don't mind if he doesn't touch my beard and like it grows in like my haircut grows in pretty well but i feel like every time he cuts my hair i have like an issue with it okay like he kind of jacks my shit like it's like not the type of haircut you can wear fresh out like you have to let it grow in a little oh, bit that's not good. which isn't good yeah that's good at all. yeah and fucking the last time he jacked up the side of my beard like bad like he didn't i don't even think he was paying attention to what he was doing he really made it look shitty oh, wow. like so like i'm not really gonna go back to him i might go back to jay but honestly man i'm trying to break into the black barbershop because i feel like i feel like they would know what to do you know what i'm saying it, i feel it, like it depends because like some some uh some barbers don't know how to cut like like um, white like, hair like straight hair so yeah like, that. like my hair is probably easy, it's easier to cut but like 
I guess your hair, like, like straight hair, I guess you yeah. want to challenge to, like, certain barbers. But. You know what I like about your haircut, though? It's not the fade. I feel like today, I feel, see every white, every douchebag, like, white guy typical white guy <laughs> has that fucking, like, fade where he's got, like, the hair up here. And, no, like, I feel like if I had one of those, I would look fucking goofy. Like, I always tell them, like, even, that's why I tell, because I don't tell them at webs, like, a three or a four, because I know it'll be super short, like a right. fade. So, like, I'll tell them, like, a seven or, like, right. an eight, like, six, seven, eight, something like that to kind of keep it like because i like having a, an aesthetic of like a full color of hair all throughout my head you know what i'm saying but like maybe like a little bit of fade or something okay. but i just feel like i couldn't rock a fade and then like an end of my beard like but i i like how like with your haircut it's like everything's shaped up real good but i don't see it's like just solid color you know what i mean yeah, I that's because like i got a shape because i usually you know i usually get a fade but uh, this yeah, week yeah. I got like a shape because I'm trying to like grow up my hair while like while trying to brush it. Yeah, that, that's a way of getting like a, a good way to get ways just like wolfing yeah, your yeah. hair while still brushing it. I'll say so in general though, I mean maybe I'm wrong because I don't really have the experience with it, but I feel like when you have like um when you have like curly hair or like dare I say like nappy hair, like I feel like it's like easier to keep it together generally. You know what I mean? Well, like. like I understand, like, it probably gets messy from time to time, but, like, white hair, like, my, like, I'll be driving, and my hair will start doing, like, like this, you know what I mean? Uh, like, and I'm, like, I don't, I don't mess with that. Like, I always have to keep bangs, because, like, my hairline, I have, like, a, it's, like, genetic, like, it's kind of, uh, like, it's kind of, like, I don't, it's not receding, like, it's, like, getting farther back, but it's just back, you know what okay. I'm saying? Like, that's just my, I'm Irish, like, that's just, All like, right. that's just, that's just the fucking thing, so, like, I like to keep bangs, but, like, It'll just get, like, in the wind or something, or when it gets messed up, it can just look goofy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I think it would be cool. Like, certain people I know, it's like, yeah, like, your hair grows out, and you get more, like, that, like, afro or whatever. But I feel like your hairline never really gets fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Does, might, that, might, does well, that make sense at all? Or I, it, It's damn... It, I ain't gonna... For, for all my years trying to have an afro, it's fucking hard as shit to make it, like, look good. <laughs> really? I, it's, it's, it's fucking difficult as hell. Really? It's hard as shit. Like you, you see like a good ass afro, you you, you gotta appreciate that shit. Yeah, yeah. Some people try to go afro, shit look, shit look or like crusty. So those dudes, not an afro, but those dudes who have like the Odell like curls, is that done? Like, do they get that uh, perm? Like some some people have like that that type of like uh, loose curl type shit. Like my cousin has that like that type of hair. Yeah. So like loose curls and shit. I have tight curl, so yeah, it's, it's whatever. But yeah, yeah. yeah. If but I your hair if looks I, better short, like it looks better kept together. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I do too. Yeah, but if it's like uh, if your if your if your hair is like tightly curled, then you might need a permit to get like that that loose Odell curl. But yeah. there's but there's some people out I know that uh, that um, that don't do that shit. But they have like uh, uh they have they have the hair I I have, but mm -hmm. they can like grow it out yeah. and like uh, make it look enough that like even though it's like big, it still looks good and shit. It, it, it's it's all it's all about like trying to keep it together. Honestly. Yeah, I feel. I'm sure it's not any, like, different or, like, harder. I just, I've always not liked having straight hair, you know? Straight hair, especially when you have, like, really straight hair, mm. I feel like it's a pain. Like, I mean, I've had, like, waves to it here and there, like, especially when I had my hair long, a long time ago. It was, like, pretty wavy. But, like, fucking, it just comes in weird, man. Like, straight hair, especially when it's short. That's why, like, I never get my hair too short anymore, because, like, if I, like, I've had times where I, it's, like, I feel like I always have to grow into my haircut, because, like, if I get my bangs cut too short, it's, like, because I like the style of, like, having, you know, some, like, some hair up here to, like, kind of just fill out, like, just, like, the look with, it helps with the beard, too, you know what I mean? Like, it kind of, it's easier to wear longer hair up here if I have beard down here, but I feel like, especially with, like, straight hair, or dare, like just like you know fucking like white hair i know some dudes have hair like i know some white dudes have hair that always just stays up all the time and they can just get up and that shit's just up so they can wear short hair mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying but not me like I, if i had short hair i would have to style it all the time or it would just look fucking odd you know like and like i'm not trying to style my hair i like waking up and like usually it'll be kind of messy if i get up like like if i get up and don't shower it'll be messy like extra messy but i can kind of get it to do something but usually i'll have something sticking up or something yeah. whatever so like that's why I, like i'll always just get in the shower and get a quick rinse mm -hmm. like, at least if i'm not just gonna take a full shower but like yeah you gotta keep just gotta keep your hair in check man like that shit I, but that kind of just ties into what i was talking about like it's just important to take care of yourself like you want to i remember a couple years ago when i was just smoking a ton of weed and i wasn't in the greatest like 
mind state like i was like a little bit depressed and shit mm. like i was not taking care of myself and i was showing up to school and like pajamas and like a, a baggy sweatshirt and i just smelled like weed you know what i mean like and it's like it didn't occur to me at the time because i felt like maybe i didn't care or whatever or maybe i just didn't notice or think of think of like what mattered but like i'm thinking like you can't present yourself like this to the world and feel good about yourself you know right so i really had a revelation right around when my grandfather died because that kind of scared me into not smoking weed and i think when i stopped for a while that's what really kind of got me like because i think when i stopped i figured all right well what's the point i don't i have time now i don't have to fucking sit there for half an hour and just smoke i can actually get up and like clean myself and take care of myself well and shit you know what i mean and like it felt good to get back to that because i felt like i hadn't felt that in a while and even before i mean i've always kind of been meticulous and i've been kind of like a clean freak sort of but like just i think it's just so important just like i feel like that's such a huge confidence thing is just taking care of yourself making sure you smell good making sure you fucking feel good like i remember one time in that same acting class i got like the nervous sweats you ever get that nervous sweats where you get it like underneath your pits it's, oh, yeah, it's different I, I swear all the time but, like, but it, it's so different much. than just sweating because it's hot out or sweating because you're fucking sweaty because you know you're moving around like you know what i'm saying like when you specifically yeah. get nervous and you get that different kind of sweat yeah i got that one time in my class and it smelled so bad and i was so embarrassed like i should have just got up and left but i didn't i waited and as soon as the period ended i just got up and left didn't talk to anybody i was so fucking embarrassed and after that i kind of knew i'm like all right well you gotta like one that's a mental thing because you gotta like realize like why are you so nervous right now i mean i was kind of nervous because i had to do a scene that day Mm -hmm. so it was kind of a little bit nerve-wracking but like on top of that it's like i really shouldn't be that nervous one and two i knew that if that shit was gonna happen again i was gonna be on top of it so like i um made sure like i always wear like um i don't like the wet i don't like the wet gel style deodorants Uh like deodorant i don't fuck with i like antiperspirant and I know they say there's aluminum in it and it gives you cancer, but like I'd rather get cancer when I'm 70 and feel comfortable and smell good in my 20s than fucking like wear nasty, wet feeling gel deodorant that doesn't really protect well, you from sweat. I use that all the time. Well, it, <laughs> it, 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 it works for me, but I, I was just don't know. Yeah. Everybody's different. Like my dad loves it. My dad uses Old Spice. I started, I started using it. I just now started using it, but I used, I used to use the, um, I use it. My, 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 the, the joint I use is also anti, uh, Perspirant. Yeah, so. Yeah. So I, I usually just use anti Because I feel like it has a decent scent to it, but I feel like that's what makes you smell is the sweat in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, but, um, yeah, like the fucking, uh, the fucking deodorant, I just feel like so uncomfortable when I put that wet gel shit on my armpits. It feels like you just got, like, sweat in there. Yeah, you know what you gotta do is get keep doing this. That's what yeah. I do all the time. It, just to see if I, if I put enough ice. See if I, I just do that, and I hear like squish, and I was like, all right, well, I got enough. Then I bought my shirt. Yeah, yo, apparently these tickets are still selling. I thought they were sold out. That's what I thought. But apparently they're still selling tickets. Maybe they're doing two. I don't think they're doing two shows. For the shout out to Hannibal Burris coming to, coming to our school tonight. Yeah, she, oh wow, because I. Because uh, Sean said, how much are the tickets? I'm about to tell him. They're ten bucks. They are ten bucks. Oh wow, ten bucks. Likes white men. I, God, I one of them. I know they're still selling for that one day. I'm not gonna expose. I'm not gonna expose who this is, but one of Sean's buddies from the youth group thing, follow like he's kind of like an odd kid and like pretty like, I mean he's okay, he's a cool dude, whatever, but like, th- like they're pr- pretty sure that he's like a closet like homosexual, and like. He, um, he followed me on Instagram. He made an Instagram, and, like, he follows one person. Like, he just created it, and oh. he followed, followed one person, and it's me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I showed, because that's, like, kind of like a running joke, so I showed Sean, and Sean was like, oh, shit. Like, and he, I guess he showed his boys, but they were just, like, fucking, like, I don't know. But, um, yeah, Sean was just asking me how much the tickets are for the Hannibal Burris show. So, apparently, they're still selling. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I thought it was at the rec center. I'm saying they don't. Do they have an auditorium in the rec center? Uh, it's probably it's probably it's probably where um, they hold 
a fucking the, the basketball game was at. That's what I'm thinking. Like on the court? Maybe. They probably like all the chairs there. And chairs you know, and then they probably, seats. They probably gonna move like a stage. stage on there. But like, what the fuck? Like we have decent um, theaters at Railway. Not crazy big, but like the Toe Hill's kind of small. But then there's one in the Wilson Hall. It's like the Wilson Hall theater is like fucking kind of big. I've been in there. Mm. It's not small. It's fucking. It's a. It's a decent fucking holding place you know what i'm saying they could have had a, sh- a show there i mean maybe maybe they knew it was going to be a bigger turnout so they're just doing it in there because like you can fit like a million chairs on the floor and like shit like that it should be cool though i'm trying to be on the floor i'm not trying to sit on the sides I'm either. I'm yeah on the floor. what time are you gonna leave if the door is open at eight uh don't it's probably we probably won't leave around eight but i don't know yeah. Cause it is a 20 minute drive for me, so. I was thinking about leaving around 7.30. 7.30? I mean, I'm gonna go to V's house probably before and pick her up. And like, uh, we'll probably, she's about 10 minutes from Rowan, straight shot. So we'll probably, I don't know where, did they say where to park on the tickets? It says, uh, guests must be 18 year older, cell phones are prohibited. It says Ebzy, it says it's on the SB side of the rec center. Do you know where that is? I think doors that's, open on uh, the SB side. That's probably where um, near near the uh, the gym. All right. not, not the they'll gym, have something the over there. If if you ever went to the like the rec center and you know the um the you know, those those, those, those uh, double doors yeah. on the right side of the building. That's yeah, like, I think it's probably that. Cause cool. I, I think I went through there when I went to one of their basketball games playing uh, my old school. Yeah, I have yeah. friends that play for the, the basketball team there. So nice, nice. Oh, uh, Willie P. Yeah, yeah some does. buddies on the basketball team. Yeah, I went to some support. That's cool, bro. <laughs> you ever chill with like any of them, like parties and shit, or like were they were the, was were the sports teams like big there, or was it just kind of like another uh, thing? Let me, let me tell you, let me tell you how how let me tell you the sports teams. Uh, uh, the football team is fucking garbage. Really, bro. I I went to one. I went to the Roman game. Like one of the first Rowan the games they had was like Rowan game and versus they, they got, Willie P. Yeah, and they got fucking blown out by Rowan. Yes. <laughs> Bro, I came in there and uh, with, with a friend, and he was like, uh, he was talking to one of his friends, and he said, "Yo, how, how, what's it, how's the game going?" He said, "Yo, so first play of the game was a was a was a return, and he scored a touchdown on us." I was like, "Well, what well, the fuck, we?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I went there, and it was like they, they scored like sixty points on us. Damn, is Rowan even? Rowan's not even that good. I don't think so. I mean, I mean, compared to, I'm comparing them to like. D1 schools and shit. I'm sure they're a good football team. Though I don't mean to disrespect them, but like, I don't think they're like anything special. Oh. You know, I think Rowan is trying to go like D1 with their sports, though. I think they're trying to expand shit there. Are you they know, D3? they're D3. Yeah, they're a D3 school. Mm. I thought like you got like try again D2 then. Maybe then something D3. else is well. No, I think they're just gonna skip straight to D1. Oh. Like I don't think you have to go to D2, and the D2 is weird. Like. Any type of D2 or D4, I mean, obviously D4 is, like, even, like, you know, whatever, but, is like... Is it really a D4? I think so. I mean, for certain shit there is, I know. Like, um, I, I know, like, when I... I mean, and this is all club anyway. Like, roller hockey technically is all club, but when I was playing college roller hockey, there was a D4, like, for that. But I'm wondering... Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's one for actual NCAA. It might just be D3. But D2 NCAA, it seems like a weird place you know what i mean it seems like something that people don't really think about That's like true. it seems like it seems like good like good competition but it seems like it's few and far in between mm. like i guess carson wentz went to a d2 school did he yeah he went to north dakota state did he transfer from that school to d1 nah he finished at north dakota i think they were like the d2 champions like like over and over and over like oh well, he got you know. up? That's interesting. yeah he was a number one or two overall pick i think Oh, like wow. by the Eagles, like, but um, yeah, fucking, it's crazy to think about because before that, I never really watched any D two football, you know. Like I never, I think a lot of the Ivy leagues are like D two. No, they're all D one. Really? Yeah. Uh, the reason the Ivy leagues are only the reason why Ivy leagues exist is because they're all like D one schools for like um, sports. Oh, okay. So uh, originally they were like, all right, Harvard D one, all them shits D one. I was like, right, let's make it like, a whole league for them, mm. like that. But nobody goes to fucking Harvard for for sports. They go there for like for mm-hmm. academics and whatnot. Yeah, and that's, yeah. That's the only reason, the only reason why I I believe is a is a is a I believe. So yeah, I got you. That's why certain schools are I believe because like they all. That's all that. It was because of sports, but now 
But you the divisions only really t only really encompass sports, right? Yeah. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. But for some reason, I thought like Harvard football was like D two. But I mean, uh, maybe uh, not anymore. Uh, but. In, right. That's what I thought too. Because you think you would think when you go to Harvard, you won't think of the fucking sports. You would think yeah. Of, like, the, the, they the actually have a good ice hockey team, which doesn't surprise me because like fucking white <laughs> people. Like, <laughs> but they, um, they're, 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 the lacrosse team's probably fire too. Oh, probably yeah. I'm sure the little cross team's fucking slamming. <laughs> but, um, damn, dude. What else? Uh, oh, so I'm turning 21. Nice. In a few months. Oh, dude. shit, yeah, Scorpio. Forgot so about that shit. So I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to get, trying to get a party going. Nice. So I'm trying to, I'm also getting, like, my cousins, too. And I, I'm trying to see if uh, the homies will want to go, too. Or, or the homies that I know. Yeah, I feel comfortable enough to be around my family. Yeah, yeah. So like you and and I and uh, probably Sean and like Sweet. a few other folks. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm totally down, man. Yeah, that too. And At I'm a trying birthday to, party, it'd be fucking fun. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to find. I'm trying to. That's why I'm trying to get my my, my social circle up. So yeah. I, I can get women into the joint too. I got you. So I got it, you. It, yeah. It be like, I might bring my girlfriend. That'd like, be hot. We'll come by. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be hot. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking be funny down there. <laughs> Yo, the one thing though, like if I'm going to this shit, you gotta be clear with me on this. Don't it, say the N word. Is anyone making mac and cheese? Well, I don't even know we're making food. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get some fucking like black people mac and cheese like i don't oh, think you yeah, understand it, like it's not i i ain't gonna hold you it might not it's not gonna happen you don't think i don't think so i, I might the best thing best thing i'll probably do is order like pizza or some shit yeah yeah i got like, actual food like yeah i got i got hit with a choice for my mom i could either hold this party at like at my uncle's apartment uh-huh because my mom my, my birthday and her birthday is kind of close and the only reason why and like i'm ho i'm holding the birthday for the birthday thing like during uh thanksgiving break because yeah. I have cousins that are coming back home from my school. So mm -hmm. I want them to come too. So it's around that close of a time because my mom's birthday is the 25th. So yeah, for yeah. that real close. So I can either get my own, have my own party or like do a joint thing with my mom. Yeah. But the thing is, I want, most of my cousins are underage. So it's like, all right, well, I can't So you that. can't really, yeah. <laughs> I would like get like no, no awkwardness or whatever. So I was thinking about doing that. Yeah, well, it's the 21st. So it's like, obviously you want to include alcohol, I guess. Yeah. But if most of your cousins are underage, but I guess like if it's like, have you had family parties before where it's like your cousins aren't drinking, but like your the adults are, you know what I'm saying? But there was, I'll be there, there was, like recently we started drinking with, with the adults, but like they. Well, were, yeah, if they're if they're like, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is young, but if they're like 15 or above. Oh no 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 no! If they're like, <laughs> I'm saying like they're like adults for the most part. The only the only true the only like true like teen true minor it's like my my 17 year old cousin i'm pretty sure he's not going to drink yeah i'm yeah. sure he won't drink that nigga has a future boy, yeah, boy, yeah fast as shit really track star nice nice god damn yeah i used to do track i was fucking so slow oh, i was yeah. i did medford track which was like we were pretty slow like it was a bunch of like fucking white kids from medford and like we would go we would go i remember i had a buddy owen i forget his last name owen something from marlton he was fast he was still fast i remember when we grew up because i remember seeing him at one of my sister's track meets because she used to kind of do track too she mm -hmm. she was actually like she like she obviously struggled when she started but she was actually a good like sprinter as she went on and like she was like the type like my sister when she was younger she was always a little stockier she's a stockier girl but she could fucking sprint pretty well like mm -hmm. like if she if all she had to run was 100 meters she could do it pretty quickly you know what i'm saying like but then she started getting into more like discus and shot put and stuff like that. But I don't think she does it anymore. But I remember this kid Owen, fucking we would we would be like in our little yellow like Medford fucking track whatever. Mm -hmm. Like our 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 fucking like we would have the goofiest like white people looking sneakers because they they tell you like this is I'm six so like before this you don't really have like running sneakers so they're like oh take your kid to Foot Locker get him a pair of sneakers so like. Your parents take you and get you the fucking goofiest looking like Asics like or whatever like okay. like like we show up or we go we we have a track meet Marlton shows up and like fucking those kids are just like like literally you just run and like those kids would just all be passing us and shit and like a lot of those I mean I'm probably a lot of white kids from Marlton too you know what I'm saying but like Mefford Lakes it's like not not to say like white or black because you get like fast white kids but like let's be real like not as often mm -hmm. you know. So like um, like you would get fucking 
like I just remember <laughs> I just remember lining up for like track meets and like I feel like I didn't even really know like what I was doing like I used to watch do you remember in the Incredibles when Dash oh, Dash. Dash is going like real slow and then he just like zooms past everybody I used to think that was like what you're supposed to do in track so like <laughs> I thinking I could like catch up or something so like I would start and I would just be like and they'd be like run like what are you doing like and I'd be like oh shit and I'd start picking it up a little bit but like you know that was a weird i barely remember track i remember i spit on a girl one time and i got in trouble we we were supposed to race some other like township or something and they didn't show up so we raced the girls it was the boys versus the girls and this one girl was like talking mad shit like next to me okay and like i'm thinking like i was kind of talking a little bit of shit back we were like six and i remember she she must have been a little older but like she spit like on the on the ground like to be cool or something okay so i just like spit on her i i just like sp and then she like started freaking out my dad had to come and like take me off i didn't do anything like i wasn't trying to hurt her or anything i wasn't trying to i wasn't being crazy i was just sitting there but like my dad came and like took me off the track and like took me home and i had to write her like an apology letter and bring it back the next week it was it was you know we 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 worked it out, but that's funny. Yeah, man, track <laughs> track was not my best experience. That's I funny. was never big into sports when I was young. I was never a sports kid. I never remember myself being any type of athlete. Oh, me and then, I was like, I was like, I really liked basketball when I was younger. So yeah. I, I would like play basketball, but I was, I was never good until like I got older and like I, like, I kind of took it more seriously. Yeah. But like, no, nah, oh, I was I was always I always play fucking video games and shit. Yeah, I was never even a huge video game guy. Like, I would play, like, the Nintendo games and shit, but I just liked doing shit, like, outside with my friends. Like, I really didn't know what I liked doing. And, um, by, like, like, I started getting into music when, like, I, like, I think I got into a lot of angsty music and shit and just, like, playing music when my parents got divorced. Like, I feel like that really kicked that off. And, like, I've always, I'm still into music. Like, I love, music will always be, you know, like, I feel like everybody likes music. But music will always really just be, like, an integral part of, like, my life. Mm. But also, like, fucking, like, fifth grade, I went to a Flyers game, and I saw hockey, and, like, I really just thought, like, this is the shit. Like, uh. you know, like, I, like, because it's, like, there's a huge, I mean, obviously, I, I started, I didn't know how to skate, and, like, street hockey's huge around here, so I got into street hockey, but... Just watching, I feel like other sports never really interested me. Like I was in, I played t-ball when I was little, and I didn't see the, I didn't see the um, appeal in fucking throwing a ball around and like hitting a ball and running around bases. Like football was cool, but I didn't really understand it when I was young. Like I couldn't figure it out. I didn't really know. Like I feel like I would have enjoyed it though. Like basketball, I was always just shitty at. Like I kind of like there was one summer when I was like that I, like i played outside a lot and i got kind of decent mm. but like i i was young i kind of stopped doing that never really played soccer a lot of shit that i found though like soccer i didn't really find until like high school like playing like soccer in high school and like just like gym and then like playing with friends and i mm. soccer's really fun i think i would have enjoyed playing soccer in um in high school but yeah i found hockey and like and I never even really, I played ice hockey only a couple times. I never really got into it. But, like, even just playing street hockey and then going into roller hockey, like, I just found that shit really fun. Like, the fact, especially roller hockey when I started doing that. Because, like, any type of sport where you're not just, like, running around, like, I feel like when you're moving around on any type of skate or something, mm -hmm. like, when you're already you're moving faster. You know what I'm saying? And it was just an interesting sport. Like, shit just moves around fast. And, like, it was just, like, a lot of fun. Like, I never liked any even street hockey like i was always a pretty fast runner and stuff like i was pretty good playing defense and shit like that but like i never liked like any sport where it just involved like a ton of running mm. or like i just didn't see the appeal like i thought it was cool but it was like there was just something about hockey it like transcends like you're like like you're every like you're every day you're walking maybe running and shit and i feel like in a lot of sports even though you're running or doing whatever I feel like it's just similar to like it just didn't appeal to me so much farther than like everyday life you know what i'm saying because you're just walking and running compared to like skating i feel like when i first really learned like kind of how to skate even when i was like shitty at it and like i'm still not the best skater ever but like even when i was really shitty at it it just felt cool to be able to like glide around you know what i'm saying and like move around and like ice hockey i was never huge into but like playing pond hockey or just playing pickup like it's fun when you feel you can feel the ice shaving underneath your feet and like you can just feel that shit like moving around like it is really a lot of fun 
I, there's, if there's any sport, any two sports I would have done that wasn't, if I didn't, like, wasn't interested in basketball was probably, like, I always want to play baseball mm-hmm. and uh, soccer. That's only the only two sports I would probably get into. Maybe football, too. Soccer's cool. I don't know. Yeah, football, too, man. Like, I, like, I feel like when I was younger, I used to think, like, oh, I can't, I would never be able to play football because I can't figure out plays. Like, I thought, that that was my big thing. Like, I, even in the beginning of high school, I'm thinking, like, how the fuck do they remember all these plays? But then I realized, like, it really doesn't take a fucking genius, especially the kids that we knew playing football in high school. Mm-hmm. Like, it really doesn't take a genius to, like, to remember that shit and learn it. And I feel like I always had a decent arm as a kid, too. Like, I think, like, if I really focused on it, I could have been, like, a half-decent quarterback and, like, been smart. You know what I'm saying? And just, like, because, like, especially in high school ball, it's not about, it's not always about throwing these bombs and, like, being perfect, whatever, but it's just about not giving the ball up and just being smart, you know? Mm-hmm. And, like, I feel like I could have, I feel like I could have pulled something off. I feel like that would have been cool, but, yeah, I don't know. I was going to play, like, linebacker or something. I just yeah. want to knock a nigga's head off. That's all I care about. I feel that. That's all I care that's about. That's what my, like, well, that's like my cousin played football in high school, and he said if you play defense, you don't have to worry so much about plays. You just have to worry about who to cover and, like, who to get. Like, which seems cool. I mean, I think it would have been cooler to be on the offense. I guess you could play both in high school, but, like, I just, like, I don't know. I think it would have been cool to be, like, a quarterback. And, like, when I really started, like, learning how to, like, throw a football decent and, like, getting, like, my my arm going, it did feel good to, like, throw a football. It would have been cool to, like, do that. It's soccer, too. Soccer would have been fun. Well, I never really got into any of that shit. And, like, once I found hockey, I was so invested in that. Yeah, so that cool. I didn't want to do anything else. Yeah. Like, and then tennis was cool in high school, but that was just kind of, like, a pass-the-time sport. Like, I, like, you know, like, it felt cool to get the mechanics down. I mean, we played with a lot of, a lot of kids that were our friends, you know, in our grade were, like, you know, good, if, like, just as good and not better. Like, fucking... It was just a lot of fun, but it was like you know, it was like a like for me, it was just like a side sport. It was like past yeah. past the time, yeah. fucking like hang out, like and I don't know. There's other like weird shit that I guess you wouldn't consider like a sport all the time, but like there was one point when I was like 13, 14 with fishing. I thought I was gonna start fishing tournaments and really getting into it, but it's like it's kind of hard to get into, especially when you don't drive, because you can't take a boat around on a trailer and shit. Because like if you're gonna fish tournaments, you need to have some type of boat. Yeah. Uh, I had this John boat that was like pretty decked out for like a little John boat. It's cool. I think it's still at um my stepdad's repo yard. Like it's still back there. Okay. But I just like I took it out a couple times and just like never really took it out again because it's like I couldn't get anybody to drive me and like you know. Yeah, but but I always liked fishing. Fishing is fucking fun. Like bass fishing. You gotta you gotta be patient though to enjoy that. Yeah. So like, I haven't really done it a lot since. I took last time I did any type of fishing. I took V to a lake just to do like some sunny fishing with like worms. And that was actually pretty fun. Mm-hmm. She, I felt bad, though, because, like, I wanted her to catch... She had never been fishing, so I wanted her to catch a fish. That was the goal. And she did. She caught one. She brought one in, which was awesome. But she caught one. I caught, like, 15. <laughs> I just kept pulling them out. Like, I would just be like, oh, there's another one. Like, like, but... My first and only time that I went fishing was, like, this little pond. And it was at, it was at the uh, the Poconos because my uncle had, like, a football camp thing. Oh, cool. So I, I came like, as like a guest or something, like a helper or whatever. And yeah. like one one of the other coaches would teach me how to fish in that pond. So like at one point I thought, oh, I, I, it started jerking. So I was like, oh shit, I got some. So I'm trying, I'm bringing it back in and shit. I come with a fucking boot. I'm like, what the you fuck? You caught a boot? Yeah. And and like, that's like a cartoon. You, know, the funny you never shit, hear the that The funniest shit. shit was like, this shit was fighting back. So I was like, oh, this this might be like a, a good, this might be a dead ass of fish. So I'm reeling it back in. I'll come with a fucking boot. First, second time, I, got, I caught like a fucking a CD. So I was like, oh, what? What? <laughs> <laughs> People just throwing trash in the lake Yeah, I'm shit. like, what the fuck? A boot. Somebody probably fucking got killed. It's probably somebody's boot. Probably. <laughs> yeah, that shit's crazy, man. I've caught some weird stuff fishing, like, um... You might catch, like, nets sometimes or, like, other people's line. Or, like, you might catch fucking, like, um... I'm trying to think of the weirdest thing I ever caught fishing. Maybe, like, clothes, like, shirts, shit like that. Shirts. Like, just weird shit. Oh, damn. We're about, like, 44 minutes. We could probably wrap pretty soon. Oh, we could? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of chilling. I'm, like, 
fucking kind of tired. I haven't talked in a while. I haven't done one of these in a fucking long time. Me it's either. cool to have, just have a good conversation. I haven't seen you in forever. The, Sean, the, the Sean, last time we saw each other was when like I walked past you, Robinson. Yeah. And you was talking to somebody. So that, oh yeah, facts. Yeah, Sean. I, um, I've yet to see Sean. Sean was saying this morning, he's like, I wonder what Dante's up to. So I figured like I'll hit you up for the podcast, like. But yeah, I saw Sean this morning. He's doing okay. He's just going to school and like going to work, doing his thing. I got another story. I went to um uh, uh Brandon Phillips' uh twenty first birthday party. Oh shit! Where where was uh, that? It's somewhere in Choose Landing. Like it's literally you know um you know where the, the Wawa is in True Land Choose Landing. Yeah, so you, like by you, like by like Somerdale Road. Nah. Nah, a different one. Nah, oh, you mean a, the one? You mean the one by like? Like if you go through Laurel Road and Pest Shop, right and shit. Yeah, Laurel, Laurel Road. Road you go on, yeah, you see that Wawa right there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I yeah, make yeah. a right. You make a right there, and there's like an apartment complex. That's where I think that's at. where Lander lives. Is it um the fucking um, what's it called? Oh, what the fuck is that shit called? Uh, all I know it is near like a a diner or some shit. No, sorry, right, well. The Eagle Diner. It's, yeah, it's, it's near Eagle. I know diner. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's, that's that's where he lives. It's so. it's. It's a little something over there. Like, I, I like nah. it. It's, I went yeah, there and, uh, so it was... Shout out to Brandon Phillips. I haven't seen that kid in forever. We were, was, he, he, we were always cool in high school. Yeah, him, uh, Devin, uh, Nikki, uh, Raekwon. <laughs> Raekwon. And, and this other boy named Dante. So I was like, all right, well. Yeah. And so, bro, I... I Brandon, Brandon's goal for the whole party was to get like was to take 20, 21 shots and and yeah in response to that that whole twenty first thing. So I helped. I I was like little fuck, so I helped out a little yeah. <laughs> after the fact. So we was like, I think he was like close to being done. I think like five or six more. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm, I'm twenty one shots between all of you or for just for him. For him. So I, I took I took it. I it's took like, I took the bro. rest with him. It's poison. <laughs> I took the shit. I took the rest with him. Right. So. This nigga Brandon was fucking gone. Like, he he Smash. he he was like, he started he started falling around. Uh, we was like dead ass fucking with him the whole time. Yeah. So and he started throwing up in, like in the toilet and shit. Oh god. So after that, Brandon he he was slumped on like on. on it was just like six years. Like it yeah. was just you guys. Yeah. Damn. So he he was Brandon was slumped on the, on the toilet. So. I went in Devil's room to sleep there, and yeah. so I got him to watch this movie called um, um, The Circle, which is which is about like uh, these large this large group of people, and they they have to uh, choose who who to die, and left person mm-hmm. who lives uh, escapes that whole sh- uh, shit. Yeah. So as I'm watching this, I I can tell how fucked I am because even though I'm wearing my glasses, I could barely see the fucking screen. You're just so so, blurry. Yeah, so I was like, "Oh, this is bad." So I'm like, All right, "Fuck it, I'm trying to go. To, I'm gonna go to sleep." And so I burped, and then threw up. Yeah, I've done that. I've I've been I've been I went to a party one time like freshman year of college, like Halloween party at my fucking um. It was like the roller hockey house basically. Okay. And like, when it was just it was like a fucking it was kind of a shitty party like there was it was cool because like the people from my team were there so we were just hanging out talking and stuff because i'm not a super social like party person but like just hanging out with more of like the anti-socialites and stuff like and like but it seemed like a lot of the shit going on in there was just like freshmen that just like walked into the party because nobody stopped anybody from walking in it seemed like people were just coming in and like it was fun i i i threw up a few times that night i threw up in the sink which like i didn't realize like like, you're supposed to throw up in a toilet. I'm throwing up in their fucking kitchen sink. I did. I did. I did and in the party, too. People are like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, but I'm like, in my in my head, when I'm drunk, I just feel like everything's all right. So I'm just like, oh, no, it's fine. It's like, like just shaking it off. They're like, no, it's not. It's my fucking sink. I'm like, dude, it's fine. And just, like, sh- just, like, sure. just rinsing it. Rinsing out. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking, um, uh, then I went upstairs. Somehow, I ended, I ended my night upstairs on the attic couch and i'm like i brought a few blunts and like there were people sitting around and i was drunk as shit i'm like i'm like yo who's trying to smoke this blunt and obviously people are gonna say yes so we're just like passing it around i could, could give a fuck honestly like i'm so drunk and i'm just like i'm just like you know what like i like i just i'm just like talking to people just like you know it was actually cool but then like eventually everybody left and i was like i'm bombed i have no ride home i'm gonna sleep the night off get an uber back to my car because i came there with a few dudes that i pre-gamed with so i like parked my car at their place Mm. so fucking like ended up like i was throwing up on myself like before i went to sleep and some dude in there was like hey man like you need 
help or something? Or I was like, you are right here? And I was like, um, and like my dumb ass, I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. It's cool. I, I'm on the hockey team. Like, they know me. He's like, dude, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, that's what the guy said to me. And I'm like, uh, don't worry about it. I'm just, I'm fine here. Like, I'm, I'm sleeping here. And he's like, oh, all right, man. So, like, I fell asleep, woke back up at, like, 11 in the morning, fucking... Not even that crazy hungover, because I think, because I threw up a lot. I brought... So, that night, just for context, I brought... I wore a Jack Daniels cowboy shirt, like, a real cowboy hat, jeans, cowboy boots, the whole... I was a cowboy for the night. And I, I had a Jack Daniels cowboy shirt on, so I had a bottle... Of, I had to have a bottle of Jack. Okay. So, like, I had the bottle of Jack, and I was trying to give people shots of it. But, like, I basically drank the whole bottle by myself. Like, I basically drank half to, like, three-quarters of the bottle by myself. I got right to the end of the bottle, and I was like, I'm not finishing it. Like, because, like, I was so fucked up. Right. And, like, um, I just, like, kept bringing it around by myself. Like, it was, like, my own, like, personal bottle. And, like, um, end up fucking, like, uh, I woke up in the morning, and I had more throw. I'd thro- I, like, had thrown up again on myself. Mm. Like, I was, I was a fucking mess. So, like... I kind of just did the best of what I could to, like, I just, I got an Uber somehow, um, fucking left, like, went back to my car, and then drove home, but it was, like, the worst fucking, like, I, after that, I mean, I had gotten fucked up again that, um, that summer at, like, a family thing, like, I just got really bombed on the beach, and I ended up almost killing myself, because I fucking, like, that was really the last straw, like, I... We were in North Carolina, it was the last day, and we had been getting drunk on the beach all week, and it was just kind of fun, like, we were just, it was responsible, everybody right. was doing okay, but the last day, I barely ate, I had breakfast, and that was it, like, I forgot to eat, and I just kept drinking beer to beer to beer to Mike's Hard to beer, like, just, like, back and forth, and, like, mixing beers and shit, and, like, I wasn't drinking any water or taking any breaks or eating, and, like, at one point in the night, I ended up blacking out, okay. like, and I'm blacked out, I'm swimming in the ocean, I'm doing shit like crazy shit and I'm fucking blacked out. Like apparently I was fine, but I don't remember any of it. And then fucking I'm in the pool. Apparently I start th- I'm fine in the pool, but I start throwing up. So they're like, "All right, John, come inside." Like whatever. And then I got out, ran into the hot tub. When I got in the hot tub, it raised my body temperature and like fucked me up and like I basically passed out. And like if my sister wasn't there, I would have just like drowned and died. Like nice. I wake up I go from talking, I was talking to these, like, there were these ladies on the beach, they were all, in, they must have been all been in, like, their 40s, but, like, some of them were, like, kind of good looking. So, no. like, so, like, yeah, so, like, I'm talking to them with my uncles trying to get them hooked up, and just being vocal and, like, annoying and drunk, but they liked me, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I, I can, I got that charm, so, like, fucking, um, I start talking to them, I'm all fucked up, and then I go, I go from the middle of that conversation, remembering that, to fucking waking up on the couch, like, three in the morning, and my mom's sitting next to me, like, three something in the morning, my mom's sitting next to me, patting my, my shoulder and my back, oh. and, like, she's telling me everything that happened, I felt so shitty about it, like, I felt so bad, like, you know, whatever, apparently they had to, like, drag me out of the hot tub, it took, like, five people to get me out, I was fucking so heavy, like, and, like, you know, but... After that, basically the point of the story is that, like, after that, I knew that I was done getting fucked up. And, like, since then, I've had a couple beers. I can't really say if I've caught a buzz. Like, I don't remember since then really catching a big buzz. Maybe off of, like, a couple beers or something. But, like, besides, I just had this run-in with the fucking police on Wild Wildwood Beach about having a beer there yeah. open. So I'm just, at this point, I'm just like, what's the fucking point? Like, I'll have a beer every now and then. But I don't want to get drunk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even when I have my 21st birthday, I don't think I'm going to get drunk. I might have a few beers and just, like, have a good time with the people that, you know, I care about. But, mm-hmm. like, I'm not trying to get fucked up. I'm really over that my, that stage of my life. And, like, it's weird because I guess some people go through their 20s and, like, everybody has a different time when they feel like they're really over that shit. But I feel like all the partying and stuff, like, I feel like I got over parties fast. Like, I feel like I kind of experienced that being 18 and a little bit when I was 19 and I'm just kind of like, I'm. Tw- I mean, I'm only I'm 20. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna be 21 in August, the end of August, and like, I really don't find that shit fulfilling anymore. And who knows? Maybe in a couple of years, I'll have different obligations, and maybe I'll want to do that. But like, I really don't see. I I really don't think so. 
like I don't see it happening, you know what I mean? I'm really just trying to focus on like get my career straight because I'm scared. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. I feel like wasting extra time doing shit, shit like that is just going to take away from like really being stable, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. like being there for the people that depend on me and like vice versa, you know? So like, I don't know. I haven't really been drunk since then. Like I'll, I like, don't, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to catch a buzz, drink a couple beers, drink, you know, maybe have like a couple glasses of wine if you're out somewhere and like you feel like a little, like you just feel a little something, but it goes away, you know, or it's something that you might feel it, but it's not going to inhibit you, you know? I don't like losing control. I feel like in the past, I've like used it as, used shit like that as an escape where I really lose control of my inhibitions, and I don't like that, you know? Because that's when like people will take advantage of you or like you just do shit that you wouldn't normally do, you know? Mm. So, like, I don't see the point in getting drunk. Like, I'd rather just, like, fucking do something fulfilling. And that's just me. And even this podcast. Like, I used to do this podcast, like, stoned all the time. But, uh, me. We're in the middle of a show, so I'm just going to mute that. But, um, fucking, uh, yeah, like, I just don't, I just don't see the point in it. Like, I'd rather just do something that fulfills me and, like, just you know have fun with good people and just enjoy my time like I feel like I've, it's weird because I'm young I guess like I guess I'm young for that mindset but I feel like now that I've hit 20 it just makes me feel like now it's time to get serious you know what I mean I feel like that's a problem people have because some people think that their childish shit ends when they're 30 but I feel like you just you just kind of gave up on a decade of your life you know what I'm saying like I feel like you gotta like like, yeah, like, it's fun to to goof off every once in a while, have a, catch a good buzz, like, you know, have fun with your friends. But, like, I see people now, like, on social media all the time that are my age and older getting fucked up and going here and there to this bar and getting fucked up at a party. And, like, it's, like, before that, I, that used to make me feel envious because I felt like that was, like, that's what people do. That's how people's social lives are. I have to be social. Like, but I think there's a difference between being like I feel like I don't see that being a social life I see that being a bunch of people in a place together just like getting fucked up you know what I mean like doing around I feel like I feel like actual an actual social life or an actual social interaction is an interaction you know what I'm saying like it's two people speaking to each other and really connecting or like multiple people like connecting as friends you know what I'm saying like I can't I don't see the I don't see like the rich social life in just going out and getting bombed. Like I feel like you have better chance you I feel like you have a richer social life with the people that you work with than the people you get go out and get fucked up with. You know what I'm saying? Or the people that you just like see when you're getting fucked up. Obviously, if you're with your friends and you're just hanging out getting fucked up, that can be fun, I guess. Yeah. But like I you know what I I take you know what I value way more than just like getting bombed and having a half-assed conversation. I like, like the podcast is a perfect example. Like just like talking to people, but think about like that conversation you have at like 3 a.m. and like one of those glass tables outside, you know what I'm saying? On a patio yeah. or like shit like that. Like that's the type of shit that really, that really like, or playing cards with friends, like up, staying up all night talking. Like that's the type of, sh that I, that's the type of shit I really value. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's the way I look at social life. I think like, I think if you ask any average per, average kid our age off the street, like you know, twenty year, twenty one year old kid, what's what's a social what what consists of a social life? People would say, oh, you go out to the bar and you go to this party and like, like having a like oh I I want to have a social life in college. I can't do all this work because I want to have a social life. Like, what like does a social life mean going out and getting like fucked up with whoever, or just having a, t a couple tight friends who you really know because I feel like so many people in like colleges and shit like I feel like they are not even just colleges but just like any type of big group setting it's like you might think you have like all these friends and like oh there's all this shit but it's like how well do you really know those people you know what I'm saying I'd rather be close with like a few people and just like have like a good social circle and yeah you gotta you gotta play this 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 goes for both relationships and friendships like 
you got to play the field, you know what I'm saying? And you got to you got to like give people chances and try to meet new people. Like this is for both friends and potential like partners and shit. But like you have to be selective too. You know what I'm saying? You can't just let anyone in. That's right. the way I am, I think. And like that doesn't mean don't be trustworthy because like those people who are like you can't trust anybody, man. You just got to be miserable for the rest of your life. That's bullshit. You have to open up to you have to you have to be strong enough and i think i think the person who is stronger than the one who sits back and just like doesn't let anybody in and just thinks like oh i'm just gonna be stoic and by myself like i think the person who is stronger than that is the one who is vulnerable and takes chances on people and opens up but you also have to be selective about who you keep around you know what i'm saying you can't just let you can't just let people you can't see the signs and ignore them you know what i'm saying or like or have people in your life that you know are negatively affecting it, you know? But you, that's but the biggest part of having a social life is just, like, one, just getting out to do shit. That doesn't mean partying and stuff all the time, but, like, maybe you take a new class for something that you're interested in, you know what I'm saying? At the same time, you're learning a skill, and you're giving yourself the benefit of just, like, getting better at something, and you're, like, you know, whatever, mm. like, taking classes in school, blah, 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 like, going to work. Like, I see, I, I see all that shit as like social whatever's like I just started working at this like this um haunt job and like I've met a few people there that are really fucking cool the one kid I saw at Rowan the other day just like waved to him they don't have to be my best friend in the world but it's just like you know what I mean that type of yeah, I'm, human I'm cool. interaction I'm cool. I'm cool. is I'm cool important with some people people from like past classes yeah this, this kid same this kid I know in my in my uh who was in my uh my my macro yeah, macro class like he's getting picked on by the teacher. And shit. He's just trying. And one day I saw him like, yo, I get picked on by the teacher sometimes. They, I yo, feel what, like, what happened to that comedy comedy class shit? Oh, that was just like I'm not even gonna get into the details of it, but I just feel like I asked a thought provoking question, and I didn't mean it like you're wrong or I think this, but I feel like she took it as though I was saying, um we don't need to be learning this stuff, which isn't what I meant. Like, I literally just asked a thought-provoking question because we were learning some, like, some tools of the trade and, like, some technical terms and stuff. And I asked, I was like, how many comedian, successful comedians do you think, like, know the ins and outs of all this and know, like, every part of the tool, like, every tool that you're naming? And how many of them, compared to how many of them, um, like, do this and know how to do this, but they don't exactly know, like, what it is and they're just, you know what I'm saying? They just learn through trial and error. And I feel like she took it the wrong way. And then, like, from there, it was just, like, little shit. Like, I was humming a song, and, like, she was like, is there a song I'm not hearing? And then tried to, like, try, try to put words in my mouth, like, acting like I didn't care about what she was saying. Like, but, like, I'm like, lady, I'm just humming a fucking song. Like, I'm not bothering you, you know? Like, it just seems like people just like to fucking try. Like, and, like, I don't know. I understand I can be direct when I speak, and it can be, like, annoying and, like, I just felt like since she didn't understand what I was trying to say and she was trying to paint me like I was basically wrong, I'm like, I'm not wrong. I'm just asking you a question. Like, I can't ask... You can't ask... God forbid you have a fucking thoughtful discussion in college nowadays. It's like teachers just want to... Teachers don't want any... I feel like nobody wants anybody to challenge their opinion. And not even opinion, just like... It was a question and then, like, she said, like... For example, I was like, how many of them do you think... And before I even got done talking, she already knew what she was going to say. And she was like, 100%, 100%. But I could tell you right now, fucking Joey Diaz, one of my favorite comedians, doesn't know what a fucking malaprop is. Or doesn't, I mean, maybe he does, but, like, doesn't doesn't know, um, you know, these specific-ass rules. Like, I just feel like you learn through trial and error and learning what works and what doesn't. And, like, yeah, it is good. I Like, she tried to make it seem like I didn't care about what she was talking about, which isn't true, because, like, I think any type of learning in that field is beneficial you know what i'm saying like anything i learn in in school i want to see if i can use in the future you know what i'm saying like i think it's important to know but to be to be actually trained and like talented at the same time but i feel like she tried to just play it off like i was trying to say like can talent you know can you just be talented and she was like yeah talent can get you by but it can't but you can be better i'm like yeah i fucking get that like anybody would understand that like but i feel like she just didn't understand what i was trying to say i don't know but I just feel like I clash with some professors. I don't know why. That I, happens. Yeah. And, like, it's funny because the lady's a blonde. Like, she's, like, typical. She's a smart woman. Don't get me wrong. She's an extremely intelligent woman, you know. 
like accomplished with her writing whatever but you look at her you might just be like dumb blonde mom you know what i'm saying and like she was talking about how like oh i have to wear these glasses to be taken seriously like it's sad but like that's the world we live in and like that's just kind of how she sounds too so it's a little like come on lady like and fucking um she was talking about what was she talking about she was just talking about how like she was like blondes are usually like stereotyped and like picked on and made fun of and my girlfriend made a really great point she said um the only reason that blondes get made fun of so much is because they always think they're getting made fun of you know what i'm saying like like i feel like she like took everything i said personally and like i was just trying to like ask a question but she made it about her and like those are the worst types of fucking people man that like mm. like it's like you just try to say something that has nothing to do with them but they just try to take like they just try to take it as a personal attack i'm like you're just looking to get you know what i mean like you're just looking for shit to be mad about i don't know maybe i'm crazy but that's that's my explanation i guess in a nutshell of of that shit that's tough. That's great. <laughs> yeah. The day before that, some fucking lady threw a Coke at my car. I, I was Dude, going down. About that. I was going down, um, like, black. I was I was going down fucking, what is that road? What is that road called that, like, by Blackwood? You're going through Blackwood Lake? Like, like you know, like, when you go past the Rite Aid? Like, say you come out of my, out of my neighborhood. Okay. And you're going towards where Highland is. All right. Like, you're on that road where Highland is Blackwood Clemenson, but, uh, or no. Yeah, no, 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 no that. You go out, you go out, you go out, um, down Peters Lane by, like, where Blackwood Clemenson is, and you make a right, and you're going towards, like, the right aid. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you keep, you go down uh, past the 7-Eleven. Uh, I think I know, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah you go down the right, road. and you go down the right, and I kept going, like, towards Blackwood Lake, mm -hmm. and, like, when I went down that hill, I guess I was going kind of fast, and maybe I was tailing a lady, but I stopped. Like, I didn't hit her car. I knew I wasn't going to hit her car. Fucking lady flips me off. I didn't even see it. My, uh, my girlfriend was like, she just flipped you off. I'm like, what the, what the fuck? Why? Like, what, like, and I, 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 I guess I get it, but, like, fucking, like, white trash bitch. Like, she was, these were two white trash ass people. And, like, I started doing this in the window, like, wah, like, her, the crying thing. And she's all pissed. They go to turn into Washington Way Apartments. You know where that is? Yeah. I guess they live there. And I go to go around them, and the fucking guy in the passenger seat flips me off again. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to return the favor. So I flipped him back off, and then they followed me. So, like, I'm fucking sitting at the light. They're behind me yelling and screaming outside of the thing. I'm, like, about to get out, but I just got out of court that day. Right. <laughs> like, I, I just got, like, I just, I just... I just dropped the case Like I'm not trying to Fucking pick another one up You know So like Fucking I just got out of court That day These people are yelling And screaming at me uh, The weirdest part was And I'll agree My girlfriend was kind of Weirded out by this And I would agree with her The weirdest part was There was a guy In a fucking Miata Like convertible next to me And I started talking to him Cause like he was just Like right there Out in the open So I was like Dude the, these people Are so fucking mad at me. Like, And he was just like What? Like he was so confused As soon as the lights Turn green He fucking jets And like he like he he fucking just like I'm getting the fuck out of here. The guy threw a but but before that, right before the light, the guy took a coke, like from McDonald's. He had one of those like drink carriers. Yeah. He took a coke and like threw it at my car, and he didn't get a lot on there. But I'm just thinking this idiot just wasted his fucking um, soda. You know what I'm saying? And like yeah. just littered too, like an asshole. And like these people are these white trash people are just screaming at me. Like I was this close to getting out of the car and fucking beating up both their fat asses, but. I guess it's not worth it. That, that made me think. I should get, like, an airsoft gun. I, like, paint the tip black. So, like, anytime somebody gives me shit like that again, I'll get out of the car and just point it at them. I, don't do that, though. I mean, that's fucked up, I guess, if, like, they actually have a gun. But, like, I would just take it out and be like, get the fuck back in your car. Like, you know, I don't know. I know that's a dumb idea, but just the thought that ran through my mind. I I've done, I've done times like that before. Like yeah. you, you, you know, someone's argument you just like just like yeah. Or like not even get out, but like if like, I like just like took it out and showed it. Yeah, it was like and then man. and then put it back in the car. No, wait, like you ever saw a video where um I guess it was a sh it was a video of this guy driving and I guess the, the guy uh uh was like I guess honking hard as hell at him. I guess he went around him. Yeah. And uh, he's right next to him and started talking shit. And dude just took out his gun, did that, and dude slammed the shit out of his brain. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was thinking of. 
Like it would be nice to not even have a real gun, but if you had like an airsoft gun and like mm. painted it that way. If you, but like the only time that would suck is if you pulled that shit and somebody pulled out a real gun. Yeah. You're screwed, man. You're fucking screwed. Be careful. I have a cricket bat in the back of my car that I got from work. Somebody brought a cricket bat into work and like we passed on it and I just took it home. It's a fucking cricket bat. <laughs> it's so Jeez. cool. But yeah. Uh, oh, damn. We can probably wrap now. It's oh, a good, yeah. good hour ten. We got. I was gonna wrap around the forty-five minute mark, but we got a good couple, good couple extra stories out of that. See. That's so yeah, man. Here. I really appreciate you coming by. It's nice seeing you. I hadn't seen you in a while, so I it's good to catch right. back up. I appreciate you asking. Yeah. Me. me and um, me and Sean were thinking about starting like our own podcast, like a different one, and basically the same thing as this, but just like instead of having a guest, just like us, and like I mean. If, like, if you wanted to get involved in it, we would just have to do it, like, every week, you know what I'm saying? Or even if we just did it every once in a while. But just, like, because, like, this show I kind of want to keep to myself okay. and have, like, maybe some guests, just, like, different guests on it. But it would be cool to just have a show that way, like, since I know you guys are usually, like, around and available, it would just be cool to have, like, a weekly show or something. You ever did, when's the last time you did, like, a podcast episode by yourself? long time like one of the first episodes you ever try you ever want to go back to it like just try to do one i was thinking about it there's a guy my i'm a really big fan of theo vaughn the comedian he does his podcast this past weekend he'll have guests on but on mondays he'll do a solo one so like he'll do a solo one and then he'll have like two guest shows and then a solo one you could try so if you do like a, a podcast by yourself you could probably like get more Probably more organized, maybe like trying to come up with topics to talk about. Yeah. And try to like, like uh, I guess work your way through it. It's so like you could probably carry the conversation more. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even if like I had like, I would probably sit down and write write out my points first and kind of like, cause I I'm not a, hu- a huge news guy. Like I probably wouldn't be like, all right, this is news and then this is sports. Like, but maybe like pick one thing like perseverance or family or just something like that you know what i'm saying and elaborate on it because that's always important but i feel like at the same time though i do love having the back and forth and like it really does help you get shit out you know what okay. i'm saying because i feel like sometimes when you're doing it by yourself you hit a wall and then there's like a lot of dead space you're like uh what's next blah 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 but i i, I definitely might like i definitely might get back into that so but yeah man episode 28 All right. it's coming out it's damn near hopefully 30. i didn't do a test recording but I could hear everything, and it looks like the audio is getting picked up. So I'm going to be fucking mad if we have an issue. But this should be good. I'm, I'll listen to it right after it. But, yeah, hopefully right. hopefully you all can hear this. Um, if you're still watching, uh, just, you know, please like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Um, if yeah, you're hit, li- hit the notification button. That's, that's the bell icon below. Facts. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your mom, your dad. Your Facts. fucking family dog, do all that shit. Make sure you get this this, this podcast up big as shit. We Facts. Need, we, Facts. Need, we need the money. We need the support. That's all. We, that's all we're asking for, baby. Yeah, bro. I need yeah. that monetization. Facts. I need that need, fucking ad we need, money. We need, we need no fucking views, man. Yeah. Facts, bro. <laughs> we, need we, no fucking views. we need those fucking views. Those likes. The fucking apparently YouTube doesn't go by views. It goes by likes. Yeah, likes. Start, so like that fucking shit. Like the shit out of yeah, it, Yeah, like the shit out of this so we shit. Get, so so we, we, could, we could get bigger and get on recommendations from other podcasts, and people were like, oh shit, fuck is this? And they like it, even yeah. though it, it doesn't look the most professional way, even though it's amateurish, but it will be, it will be nice. Facts, you know and it's only going to get better from here. Like, my and next, we, these mics are a decent, like, throwaway type of purchase. I'm thinking about getting some better ones, but I need to get a camera system, and eventually maybe, like, a fucking, um... Uh, like I need to get like some decent cameras and maybe eventually somebody to engineer it. You know what I'm saying? This is years down the road, maybe, but you know, would be cool. But also, don't forget we're on iTunes too. Man. Facts. I was about to say, if you're listening on iTunes or SoundCloud, if you're listening on iTunes, hit that fucking subscribe button. If you're listening on SoundCloud, hit that follow button. Like that shit. Let me know. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know you're here. Fucking um, Stitcher. I don't know if Stitcher ain't ain't that big. But, like, Stitcher's a podcast-specific app. We're on there. If you go on Stitcher, search up Eggcast with John Egger. Um, as it's spelled, you know, Eggcast, W slash John Egger. You'll find that shit. Even if you just search Eggcast, chances are you'll find it. Um, yeah, we're on all that shit, man, you know. Also, if you have any topics, we should, uh, any, if you can say, what the fuck? If you can suggest <laughs> any topics for us, uh, hit up John's Instagram. Yeah, uh, facts. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I, wherever, wherever John's thing is. Hit, hit him up. Uh, if you want to talk to me, I'm pretty sure John put my tag in there. But if yeah. you don't know, it's a as a at Dante uh, underscore, uh, fuck, underscore fuck, H98. Yeah, yeah, that too. 
Yeah. That. So if you want me, if you want me back on the show, hit me up. I'll yeah. be here all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna tag him in the Instagram post. Um, I'll put it on Snapchat. So if you ever want to hit me up on there, feel free. If you have any topics to talk about, you can leave comments on any of these platforms. If you have shit you want us to talk about, any specific guests you want me to bring on. I mean, I don't have a huge huge circle. I can't. I'm not gonna be pulling in celebrities. But I know a lot of you local guys. I know a lot of my my homies from Blackwood are watching this shit. Like, you know, Marlton, whatever, surrounding area uh, in Jersey. So if you got anybody you want us to talk about, just let us know. And, yeah, man, just have who, man or woman or whatever you might be preferred to be. Uh, have a fucking nice day. You know, get, get out there, get after it. Nothing productive gets done on the couch. So get your ass up and do some shit. And, yeah, just have a great day. Love each other. All right, brother. All right. Thank you. Peace. Get them plugs, yeah.